Hey guys, Gadnock here, and today I want to show you some early highlights from the new game, Deliver Us Mars. It was released just two weeks ago, developed by Kyokin Interactive, and published by the Frontier Foundry, so I had to check it out for myself. I'll admit, I've had its prequel game, Deliver Us the Moon, downloaded on my hard drive for a while, but I play so much Elite Dangerous I haven't played it yet. Ugh. I'll get around to it. But first the idea of visiting Mars, the atmospheric red planet, is a lot more enticing to me. So let's jump into this game first. Come on, Kathy, jump in! This game was made in Unreal Engine 4, and from what I've played, it looks pretty good to me. So far it's delivered a suspenseful and atmospheric storyline in the cutscenes, and the gameplay involves interactivity and puzzle solving, which I've enjoyed. There's two mechanics in the early game that I wanted to showcase with this video. Specifically, launching a spacecraft and doing EVA while in orbit around Earth and Mars. I'll be showing as few spoilers as possible in case you want to play it yourself, but plan to get further in in the next few weeks and make another video about it. The game is $30 US on Steam right now, and $34.99 for the Deluxe Edition which includes the soundtrack. So without further ado, enjoy some gameplay from Deliver Us Mars. Shall I board first? Come on in. Here we go. No turning back. Nope. It's a few months later now, and you we're finally going to Mars. About. What? How come we get to live in better conditions than the people in the shanty town? How is that possible? Pure probability. Geographically and demographically, we were born in the right place at the right time. They weren't so lucky. Right. Wow, they really don't seem to want us to go. No. But considering the amount of time. Oh. oh. You okay? Yeah, just a bit startled. Why you gotta do that? Are they insane? They're not helping anyone by trying to hurt us. Don't they understand that we're doing this to save them? Those people will be on the MPT waiting list until the day that they die. If you saw the WSA using so many resources to send four people to space, you'd be angry too. They don't understand. But when we bring the Arcs back, they will. Take a look at this view. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Never ceases to amaze, right? It's a shame we couldn't build her properly. What? With all the shortages of materials, it really is a miracle that this thing is here at all. You could have mentioned this in all these months of prep that we're flying economy class? No, I <laughs> didn't want to worry you. Except for right before taking off. Seem really fair to disclose it now? Sure, sure. If Claire believes we can use her for the mission, we should trust her. I oh, believe that they three will handle the mission just fine. Okay, 
last, there we go first. Strong back successfully retracted. Sarah, bent off lines. Lines are vented. We are going. Okay, Start okay. automatic ground launch sequencer. Sequencer is a go. Cat, track orbiter access arm. Orbiter access arm is retracted. Copy. Start auxiliary power units. Yeah, this is nerve wracking. Auxiliary power units are go. Copy. Track I didn't get it all the way. Eni cap retracted. Opera team, visors down.
Claire. I've got this. Ooh, going for an EVA. All right. Egress out of the airlock. Um, get. Am I not tethered? So what's all this from, anyway? Satellites, mission-related debris, even pieces from Sarah's old station. Pearson Space Station? From when Rolf survived the breach during the moon mission? Mm-hmm. Huh. I'm... kind of honoured. What a weird thing to feel honoured about. <laughs> right, first things first, what can you see? Is there any damage to the thruster? There's a huge bit of debris stuck in the thruster. Could be from the space station. Okay. Is the plating around the base of the thruster damaged? It's seen better days, but it's holding together. Good. What about the pipes around the thruster? They're pretty badly bent. Okay. They'll need to be cut away if we want the thruster to be semi-functional. Is the thruster still receiving power? It is. Shut off the power lines before you do anything else. There's a big button in the hatch, just press it, and you're good to go. Okay. And watch out for the fuel canisters. If you hit one of those while you're cutting it... Well, don't, please. What do they look like? The big yellow canisters. Do you see them? I see them. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Very careful. Very careful. Okay. Turn the power off. Gotcha. Power's back on. Running diagnostic now. And we're good. Okay. Great job, Cat. Head back inside. Be carefully. Yes. Yes, Claire. <laughs> Now. Here we go. Well, 
there it is. We seem to be having some issues. Desperately don't want to hit those field tips. to happen? Yeah, it's a hell of a ride so far, so I suggest checking this out. 
Thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel so you can see the next part and more space game content. Take care of yourselves out there.